Okay, welcome to day one. Let's get into the foundation rhythm. So to review from before, there are three elements to freestyle, rhythm, rhyme, and reason. And the goal of our freestyle training is to improve our speaking flow by increasing verbal fluency and decreasing our inhibition. So what is rhythm then? So rhythm is the arrangement of sound according to stress and timing. So what does that mean? Let's do a bit of a demo here. Um, Imagine that these blue square is one note and the purple square is a higher note. So we say do, 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 do. And if I run my cursor across it, do, 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 do. Hear that again? Do, 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 do. So that is a melody, right? Now I have a different melody, different notes, same notes, but different arrangement. Try it out here. Do, 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 do. Do 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 again. Do 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 do. So two different melodies seem like they have nothing in common, right? But if we look at how they're arranged across time, you'll see that they're all lined up in the same place. So if I replace a note with a clap, it'll sound like this: clap, that 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 that. See if you can hear that now across all three of these lines. The first one: do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Second line, do, 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 do. Same clap, da, 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 da. So what these three things have in common is they're the same rhythm. So that's music. What about language? Well, I take an English phrase like, what would you do for $1,000? And a Spanish phrase like, donde esta la biblioteca? Or a Chinese phrase like, wo bujo da, ni pongo shinali. Or a German phrase, alles mit dir so keine Ahnung, right? Where's the library? I don't know. Where's your friend? Everything with you is so, I don't know. All right, that's what those translations were. So if I have these four phrases, four different languages, different number of words, completely different meaning, do they have anything in common? Well, if I emphasize the stress syllables here with the red, and I get, what would you do for $1,000? Donde esta la biblioteca? You'll start to notice a similarity emerging, and it becomes more apparent visually when we, instead of writing it normally, we put each syllable into a block. What would you do for $1,000? Donde esta la biblioteca? So, now we can see the similarity. Basically, they have the same number of syllables and the placement of the stress is in the same place for each phrase. Even though they're different languages, they share the same rhythm. So now the definition of rhythm should make more sense to you. What is it? The arrangement of sound according to stress and timing. Stress and timing are the two key elements of rhythm and the foundation, not just for music, but for language as well. Um, another way you can think about it is that rhythm is the container for the notes and the syllables of our musical and linguistic communication. So if I'm playing the violin, for example, I imagine like an ice tray where I already have the rhythm blocks and I'm just placing my notes in there. Do, 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 Right? Those are my notes. And if I'm speaking, it's the same ice tray. But now instead of putting it with musical articulations of my fingers, I'm putting it with articulations of the mouth. I'm making syllables. Blah, 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 right? Rhythm is the container for notes and syllables. So what's the difference then between speaking and rapping, which is basically musical speaking? And the answer to that is the beat. The beat is what makes all the difference between speaking and rapping. So little masterclass here on what um, musical beat is. If I take a segment of time and I split it into four and then clap on those beats, I get one, two, three, four. So you can call those quarter notes, right? An eighth note is when I divide that same amount of time, that same distance into eight. One, a, two, a, three, a, four, a. And then 16th notes, same space of time, divided into 16, I get one, e, a, a, two, e, a, a, three, e, a, a, four, e, a, a. And these are just vocalizations you use to kind of indicate the different parts of the beat. But it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, one, eight, two, eight, three, eight, four, 
E, 1 E, E, A, 2 E, E, A, 3 E, E, A, 4 E, E, A. So notice how the B stayed the same the whole time, but I was just putting in four notes and then eight notes and then 16 notes. And you can also do even more complex rhythms like triplets. So it's 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. Or quintuplets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5. To hear it all, one quick way down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, A, 2, A, 3, A, 4, A, 1, E, A, A, 2, E, A, A, 3, E, A, A, 4, E, A, A, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. That is the beat being divided into equal parts of different ratios. That's all a musical meter is. So in rapping, the word stresses align with the musical beat. What do I mean by that? Well, we'll go back to our Spanish phrase, donde esta la biblioteca? The stresses are on the don, ta, bi, te. Now, let's go back to our beat. Un, e, e, a, tu, e, e, a, three, e, e, a, four, e, e, a. What if we aligned those stresses of that on the beat, the red circles there, and we put spaces in between the words and the syllables so that it fit. And what we would get is, donde esta la biblioteca? So if I compare, donde esta la biblioteca to donde esta la biblioteca? Donde esta la biblioteca? Then that's how you make it musical. That's how you technically make it a rap. So bringing it back to the top level goal of increasing your speaking flow, how does rhythmic freestyle training improve your speaking? Well, we have verbal fluency increasing and inhibition going down. For verbal fluency, when you have rhythm trained, it builds out the rhythmic connections in that word web we talked about earlier. That is the essence of fluency, right? And it also, because if you have rhythm automated and you have those containers already in place in your mind, it frees up energy for you to actually think of the next word to say. So rhythm is the foundation. You don't want to be rushing around for the container before you get the water to make the ice, right? And when it comes to inhibition, the beat's kind of cool because it provides a shot clock for your expression. So there's no time for your editor to come in and start second guessing and doubting yourself. Um, in normal conversation, there is no shot clock. So you're like, oh, uh, uh, I, I, uh, uh, uh. but what is a beat? You know, like I have this much time to get it. So it's a predictable time limit and that kind of snaps you into action. Um, and it also puts you into a sort of a trance when you really allow yourself to fall into a beat and feel the flow of it, then that trance state you enter into is one where your editor is switched offline and you're able to express yourself more freely. Just think about when you lose yourself into dance. It's the same kind of phenomenon going on. So this is how it helps you here. To review, rhythm is the container for music and language, and in musical speech, the stress syllables align with the beat. And rhythmic freestyle trains Rhythmic freestyle training increases verbal fluency by building out the rhythmic connections between your mind, and it also decreases inhibition by giving you a predictable time limit and putting you into a trance state. So what was your biggest takeaway and what is your biggest question? Just like last time, please take a minute to write it in the comments. Uh, help you consolidate what you learned today as well as help me clarify what I'm teaching. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I have fun with the lessons today and let us know if you have any questions.